Hey guys, wanted to take a quick minute here to show you how to print out a transaction history from your bank account that has the URL address at the bottom. That's the identifier that mortgage companies will use whenever you do a transaction history. So obviously the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your account. And then when you open up your account, you want to look at it as full view. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to the filter button and in the filter button, you're going to want to drop down to a custom date range and pick the dates that you want the printout to cover. One of the main things you want to do is you want to make sure that your transaction history does overlap the last printed statement. So for an example, on this account, if we look at it, the last statement ending date was 629. So if when I do my transaction history, I'm going to make sure it overlaps 612 and moving forward. So that way they can tie the two together. So once you have your date range selected, then what you're going to do is you're going to look on here for the print button and the print button is going to be print current view. So on this scenario, because we did not select the range, it's going to go as far back as possible. But when you go to print, you're going to hit the print button here. You're going to see on this, when I hit the print button, I have the URL showing here below. If you don't have the URL address showing, you're going to click more settings. You're going to come down to the options here where it has headers and footers and you're going to check that box. So when I uncheck it, you'll see that the URL goes away. When I check it, your URL is back. You're going to go ahead and hit the print button and you are good to go.